Morning, friends. Good morning. Happy Halloween. It's Halloween morning. We uh, decided we're going to shoot some ambient videos. So we got out of bed early. And I was thinking about all the times I got out of bed in the dark to go to work. <laughs> and But today I got to get out of bed in the dark to go to Disneyland. That's fun, right? That's great. Yeah, we checked all day yesterday because uh, we, we didn't have reservations originally. And we checked all day and literally like late last night. Uh, we got some. All right, so, so I brought, brought my fancy camera. We're meeting our friend Liana, and we're going to shoot video around the Millennium Falcon. And I am going to go get some breakfast stuff that I normally wouldn't be able to get because we got here early in the morning. We actually got here at Rope Drop. We don't normally do that. So. Yeah. The, Come join us. Yeah, uh, if you're bringing a tripod, because I'm bringing fancy camera stuff today, to Disneyland, they don't give you a problem so long as it fits in your backpack and it's under five, uh, five feet, or actually it's six feet or under. If it's six feet, you're good. Mine is five, so we're good. But hopefully, uh, we'll do some more video about this uh, behind the scenes stuff today. But with this ambient video thing, it's gonna be really fun. We're making the video for me, because I want to be able to watch it at home when I'm working at home. But hopefully you'll like it too. But we'll check in later. Yeah, I gotta get coffee. See ya. Okay, so we're walking in, and if you look up here, behind the fence, I don't know if you can see it back there, but that's the Disneyland Christmas tree. Here's an even better angle of it. You see it back there? Gold and red ornaments. I can't wait to see this on Main Street. I'm kind of walking fast because I want to get over to Batuu so we can get the tripod set up before everybody shows up, but I just wanted to show that it's not very busy here this morning. Normally when I visit Batu, I go in down by Critter Country because it's kind of like a nice walk in there. You get to go through the Rebel area. It just makes me feel like I'm going into Star Wars. But when I'm in a hurry, I go through Frontierland. There's a gate up by Frontierland that gets you right in the heart of Batu very quickly. So we're going there now. But Frontierland is pretty empty this morning. Just look at that Mark Twain sitting there. You know, some people come to Disneyland who are super into trains, train people. I think I am a steamship person. I love the Mark Twain. So my job, like a lot of people's job, involves a lot of time working at a computer. And one of my favorite things to do is come into Batu early in the morning. It's really quiet, all the tables are available. And just sit there and do my work. The ambient sounds of Batu are so great. That's one of the reasons why we're gonna go ahead and make this ambient Batu video this morning. I think Liana has already started shooting her ambient video. Because I see a camera poking up over there. Looking at the Millennium Falcon. She's not messing around. I'm gonna walk around this way. There it is. You gotta give that some say. Now I'm in the ambient video. That makes me feel pretty special. All right, let me go and see what she's doing. Well, things are going great. We've got uh, our second setup now, which is straight across from the Falcon. It's gonna be looking dead on to the Falcon. And uh, I think these ambient videos are gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see them. Here comes Daisy with coffee and refreshments. I think I'm gonna walk through it right now because I wanna be in my own ambient video, but I'm wearing my Total Batu gear. I'm gonna fit right in. Uh, see if you can find me when the video comes out here. Let me just show you what I look like right now. I'm totally like ready for Batu. Here I am. I got my uh, scarf on, my sweater. I even got my, 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 my lightsaber. So here we go. I'm going to walk through the video like I live in Batu right now. Okay, so the shoot's been going actually really well. Uh, we haven't had any trouble from Disney about us setting up tripods and shooting long shots. I got the... Uh, got the tripod through security no problem and Liana and I have now taken six or seven shots of some length around the Falcon we're gonna cut them together and make this great ambient 
Falcon video, and we're very excited about getting this done. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me just flip the camera around here. So there's the uh, the last shot. Daisy's over there hanging out on her phone. And that one's shooting up to this corner of the Falcon. And Liana, if you can see her way over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. She is over there shooting the uh, Falcon on ramp or the, uh, the walkway onto the Falcon. Boarding ramp. What am I saying? It's boarding ramp. Anyway, she's over there working on that. And uh, I think this video is going to be great. I can't wait for it. This is definitely one that I want for myself, if nobody else. But I think you guys may enjoy it, too. Being able to sit at home and just having the background sounds of Batu and the Millennium Falcon up on your TV. Uh, we're going to do more of these if you like them. I think, uh, you know, the castle and DCA. And there's just a lot of great locations here at Disneyland. All we have to do is wake up early on Sundays and get in before. Oh, wait. Rihanna's waving. Let me just sweep, sweep in. Let's see if I get her to wave again. Wave. Wave, Liana. She's looking at her camera. She's checking things out. Liana, by the way, is the brains of the operation. It was her idea to do this. There she is, waving. And she, uh, and she's a really smart camera person, so she's helping make sure these come out really great. Everything's being shot in 4K with good cameras, so it'll be something that you can really enjoy at home. It's really nice to see that the uh, that the PhotoPass guy's busy. You know, they haven't been very busy as of late, but it's got a nice line waiting. It's Halloween today, so people are wearing their costumes. They want to get their PhotoPass pictures taken. Oh my gosh, look at that little Darth Vader. That's the best. All right, come on, Darth. Do a good job. Protect your family. Is that something I should be saying? Oh, look at that. She's giving, or he, I don't know, taking a pose. I love it. With a lightsaber. All right, so we finished the, the initial shoot. How'd it go? What do you think? It was good. Yeah? Um, you know, you stand there and then you see like 10 other shots that you want to get. It's like, we don't have to do them all yeah. today. Yeah, we hope you guys like this stuff because we want to do more of them. Yeah. It was really good to do it in the morning and get yeah. all those different sounds. And yeah. yeah. And, and I got my breakfast. I, what would you have? I had a breakfast chimichanga. Nice. It was delicious. Where'd you get it? I got it over in Frontierland. Ah, cool. Like, I, you know, I had to have it. Then I got my Starbucks and I came over to Batu and had a great morning with you guys. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this video I'm going to enjoy for myself, but I hope you guys like it too. All right, so now that our big video shoot's over, we got passes for Rise boarding of the Resistance, pass. boarding passes. Number six! Number, number six. six. So <laughs> it, the problem is usually you get them and it's like number 372 and you got to wait till the, almost the park closes to get in. Well, we got lucky, we got group number six. But the problem was we were shooting those videos and our group ran out. You know, you get a limited amount of time. So the hack is you take a screenshot while your boarding pass is good. And they, they were usually pretty good about letting you come in late. We're not even saying anything. We're just going to try. We're just okay. going to see if they'll scan it. But even when they know you're coming late, they're usually pretty good about it. Yeah. But, you just don't be a jerk. Be nice yeah. about it. That's yeah, yeah. all. Just yeah. ask. But, so hopefully we're going to get on Rise of the Resistance out. So let's go. Yeah. We, we got in, even though our passes were a little late, no problems. They were late, like, like we were boarding group six and they were working on group groups 46 to 70. So they're, they're, they're running people through. That ride is so fun. And it only took us 14 minutes in the queue to get onto our vehicle. Well, yeah. not, you know, but in, into where we needed to go. Yeah, yeah it's so fun, it's, it's so much fun. It's been a couple so months since we went on, it's just still amazing. <laughs> Always go on it if you can. We're sitting here on the Critter Country Bridge, and uh, there's Splash Mountain. They've already got some holiday decorations up for Critter Country. That's cool. But something I love about this bridge is if the Columbia is docked, it comes right up on the bridge. I just love seeing it. It feels like you're actually in a seaport when you walk past it. I don't know. It just makes me smile. There she is, Mark Twain. It's kind of fun when people come by Mark Twain. You just, so I always try and give them a shaka. I've never been able to get anybody to shock her back at me. They always wave. They don't shock her. They're not cool enough. My real goal one day, you know, shock her. My real goal one day is to get a character to shock her. Like, I want Mickey Mouse to shock her me back, but he won't. I don't know. Maybe he's not allowed to shock her. But either way. So I was talking about the Columbia a minute ago. If you zoom in, you can see it's over there and it's in dry dock. It's actual dry dock. There's no water there. 
And the funny story is, like, the guy who helped Walt build Disneyland was Joe Fowler, an admiral of the Navy. I mean, like, I think he tried, he helped plan D-Day. This guy is, like, you know, hardcore. And he told Walt, you got to have a dry dock. And Walt didn't want one, but they put one in. And it's called now Fowler's Harbor, if you go over there. But it's, uh, Columbia's in dry dock getting worked on. So it's not going to leave for a while. Okay, so it's 11.15 on a Sunday. We're finishing up. We're going to get something to eat and head out. But you can see the park is starting to fill up. Hey everybody, Sparky here in studio. We uh, finished that up right after we got off the bridge. We had lunch and we went home. As you can see, we went ahead and bought a photo pass. We got some great pictures that day. Uh, stay tuned. Within days, if not within 24 hours, you're going to see that actual ambient video that we made. It's coming out great, and we hope you really enjoy it. We are the DLR Field Guide, and we'll see you next time.